YouTube, what's going on? So, I wanted to give a uh, quick review and kind of a breakdown on uh, how to use this uh, DTU system here for the Nanolux lights. Um, it's extremely easy to use. Um, first step you do is you just uh, go to nanoluxtech.com and uh, you install, just download the, uh, the NCCS data. It takes a couple seconds, you just download that and then you uh, run the program. And once it's uh, downloaded, you go ahead and restart your computer. And once you restart it, then you uh, open up the program again and uh, just plug this into your uh, USB port on your computer. I would do it all, I would show you this video off from a computer, but uh, I don't have a Windows computer. All I have is Mac, and these aren't compatible with Macs yet. So I have to use a buddy's computer that actually has a Windows. So um, once you plug that in into the USB, then uh, it'll recognize this DTU. And then you literally take each one of these goes into a ballast. And that's what controls each ballast wirelessly. So um, you just go ahead and you label each one, you know, how, for however many ballasts you have. I have 12, so I label just one through 12. And you go ahead and you just plug each one into the back here, right there for about two, three seconds each. And it, a bolt will pop up on the actual uh, program itself. And uh, it's very simple, but I mean, it has a, I'll just show you here the thing. So yeah, it'll be like a, a program like this. So every time you plug in one of those, um, those uh, RTUs, you know, it'll literally uh, bring up one of these bulbs here. So for every single light that you have, it'll bring up a bulb and they'll pop up here along the top of the screen. And uh, you can literally move them around the whole room to actually configure them like your room, the way you have your room set up. And then you can uh, click on each one and um, just rename it, you know, light one, light two, light three, or whatever, or just one, two, three, or however you want to, you know, name it. Uh, it's extremely simple. And then um, once you go ahead and you uh, plug all of them in, um, they're already uh, recognized in the system. And then from there, um, you go ahead and you just uh, uh, you set all your all your stuff with, with the lamps like your timing it's uh, extremely simple to do and I'll show you on the next page here so yeah like your timing it's so, like right, right right here it has a uh, 0 to 24 so 24 hours in a day and then uh, as you can see right here, it has uh, the off. So if you drag, you can just drag this line wherever, wherever you please. You can drag this line all over the place. And um, if you drag it down here to your off line, you know, so you'll run for, uh, for this many hours here, and then you'll be down for this many hours. So, uh, you know, you can just drag it wherever you want it. And then the next line up, We'll start the you know 50% mode, which is 600 watts, and then 100% would be uh, you know 1,200 watts. And then you can uh, do the sunrise and sunset. So uh, you know you can you can take this line and just bend it however you want. You can make the sunrise go. I mean you can slowly, gradually go all the way up and down. You can do whatever you want with the with the uh, dimming cycles. You know you can see right here they have it set. Uh, you know, from zero to one. So it goes from 50 to 100%, and that would simulate sunrise. And then from one to 13, uh, right here, it'll, I mean, uh, my bad. Yeah, from one to 13 would be your running, so it'd be at 100%. And then uh, 15 to 16 would be your, um, would be your, uh, your sunset. And then from 16 to 24 would just be your off. So it's, uh, it's really simple. And then uh, let's see what else. And then you can, uh, you know, if you have more than two rooms, you can do up to four groups. So uh, you can control up to actually four rooms off of just one of these units here and make them all do different things. Or um, you can control, you know, four groups in the same room. Like if you know you have really hot days, you can just turn off a whole section of the lights. Um, you can put that in a group, 
um, if you have hotter spots in your room or, or just however you want to do it if you want to dim certain lights down you can put them into a group and you can dim all those lights down to 50 percent also uh, you know you can do all different crazy stuff with each group you have up to four groups to do that with so i mean if you want to add more groups you can get another dtu but i don't think you really need more than four groups and then i mean that's really it once you um once you plug all these in into here, you set up the whole DTU, and then you adjust your uh, bloom or your bed cycle and adjust all your groups, however crazy intricate you want to get with it. Then you can just take it from there, unplug it from the computer, and then it comes with like this uh, like Apple iPhone plug-in piece here that you just plug right into the wall anywhere in your room. And then it has a just sensor here because you can set your, uh, your uh, dimming cycles like uh let me see here yeah like right here it says right here which is very easy there's like just a temperature button on the side on the side panel that you click on the system itself and you can uh, set your temperature where you want it to dim at so you can click this and then you can say you wanted to dim at say uh i set mine for uh, uh 84 degrees so my hands 84 degrees it'll dim by uh by 5% per minute until it gets to the temperature it needs. And then if it exceeds, I set mine 86 degrees. If it exceeds 86 degrees, then all the ballast will shut off. And then it'll show a, um, it'll uh, let me know if there's an error. You know, they're still updating this system. Uh, eventually be able to do CO2, uh, pH, uh, AC and be able to do everything off of this DTU uh, DTU unit uh, in the future they're working on all that uh, to be compatible with this unit so uh, it's pretty cool um, let me see what else yes here's another shot of, of the dimming cycles so a temperature control you can set whatever temperature you want up to 100 degrees here you know you have it dimmed by five 5% or even 1%, you know, from 1 to 5%, you can have it dim by. So, uh, but yeah, once it's all set up to where you want it, the time cycles, everything, it's set actually into the DTU uh, unit itself. And then you take the transfer unit and you mount it, um, you know, you plug it in, mount it anywhere, you know, inside the room. It has to be within 600 feet uh, from a, uh, a Wi Fi source. But it, the computer that you use doesn't have to be in the, anywhere around this unit. But if you need to make changes to the unit, you need to plug it into the computer to make changes. But then you uh, take this here. This is your like probe that comes with like the you know like those thermometers you can buy. You plug this uh, into the back, and then uh, you can just run this in the middle of your room or wherever you want. And this controls your high temperature shutoff. Uh, you know, or your dimming, uh, your dimming periods if your room gets uh, a little kind of too hot. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I think that's about it. Then you take each one of these, you know, you just, once you label them, you know, you, you take each one of these and you're literally, uh, you know, they're kind of like just li little, uh, you know, like USB things here. And then you take each one of these uh, on the ballast there, I don't know if you guys can even see that, it's like you can see that piece of that. There's a little, uh, little piece right there where you plug that in, and this will light up, uh, this will light up green, and you'll know it's working. It'll sit there and just blink green, and you do that for every single one of those lights. And these pieces right here, they cost about 11 bucks, uh, for each one. Um, I think they retail for like, 15 bucks, so I got them for like $11. And this unit here retails for like 100 bucks, so I get it for like $70. And um, they can control up to 999 lights, so it's uh, it's really awesome. So yeah, that's just a uh, review on the uh, DT, uh, DTU unit, and uh, kind of just a brief on how it works. Um, but it's very simple to use, because I suck with using computers. You can tell on my videos, I'm not good at editing and all that shit. So, I mean, if, you know, if I can do it, you know, anybody can do it. So, um, that's how it works, guys. If you have any questions or anything, I think I covered everything, but if you have any questions, leave in the comment box. Peace.